Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here, and today we are talking about The Last of Us. The Last of Us is, of course, a uh, franchise surrounded in controversies as it was originally just a beloved franchise. The Last of Us on PS3, then ported over to PS4 as a remaster, is fantastic. I still love it. So do so many other people. Last of Us Part 2, we're not really going to get into right now because that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is... Last of Us 1, though, be loved. People love it. I love it. You love it. If you don't love it, fuck you. But does it need something beyond that remaster? The remaster that came out in 2014 still holds up very well. In fact, I never even played the original game. I have played the remaster. And while I did feel that the gameplay mechanics in it felt a little... Mm, dated at the time, that was probably around 2016, 2017 when I played it, it still felt good, it still held up as a fantastic game. But now we are hearing that Naughty Dog plans to remake the game just shortly after the release of The Last of Us Part 2. So yes, sure, The Last of Us Part 2 has won a plethora of awards, which gives Naughty Dog every incentive to continue the franchise. But is remaking The Last of Us Part 2 really the thing that needs to be done? Uh, coming from... The article published over at Game Reactor, they talked about some of the things that are going to be uh, apparently in The Last of Us Part 2, yada yada yada, uh, pardon me, Last of Us Remake. It's not going to just be uh, upgraded resolution, it's not going to be just upgraded performance, visuals, yada yada. Apparently it's going to have gameplay enhancements that bring it to the level of The Last of Us Part 2. And yes, though, the graphics will look much better because all of this will be done using uh, Last of Us Part 2's uh, new engine and etc, etc. Make the thing more of an actual current-gen, next-gen title. And of course, since it would be made in uh, current generation, it would have all the benefits that come with PS5 native titles such as the whole adaptive trigger trigger things but is it really going to sell though because we all have the story already unless they are willing to make some core story changes is it something that's worth buying i don't really know to be honest because why just why i mean there's plenty of stuff to be hyped about for the last of us if you are very much dependent or have investment in this franchise. Uh, there's the HBO series coming starring Pedro Pascal and that gal who was in Game of Thrones. I don't remember her name. There's going to be potentially a Last of Us Part 3. Sure, years away from now, but Neil Druckmann has talked about the potential of The Last of Us Part 3 and the fact that he has drawn up a story outline for it. But do we need a Last of Us remake? So... Guys over at Game Reactor say it's going to be basically what we know as The Last of Us, but rebuilt as a native PS5 title. But don't expect it to be a uh, next big thing, the groundbreaking, yada yada yada, because we on some level know what to expect already. So it all just comes down to, do you think we need this? My personal opinion is, we don't need it. If it When it does come out, admittedly I would be tempted to buy it just to see what the hype is all about. But of course that decision would be made long before it actually comes out based on, you know, advertising and whatever their pre-launch campaign is and showing off the title. A reason a lot of folks seem to think that this remake of The Last of Us is being pushed is because everything else that Naughty Dog is working on is in pre-production, so they have nothing actually coming out of the pipeline anytime soon. So a simple remake of The Last of Us using probably uh, assets from The Last of Us Part 2 and then building everything else off of just native PS5 systems, yada yada, would probably be simple in the short term compared to some of these other projects that they're starting from scratch on. That's basically what we have so far. It's not much, but it's enough to either get some people hyped or just leave others like myself wondering, 
what's the point even still? So let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and I will catch you next time on Rated RPG. Later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.